Welcome to DBC Diaries episode 42. Today you're going to see returning patients Brooke and Carol. Brooke is a motorcycle enthusiast and that's led to some injuries. And so last time he was here we fixed up his hip and shoulder. He also did an IV and saw some huge improvements in his cardiovascular performance and endurance. And Carol did our IV in the gums treatment and she has hereditary gum disease where if they're starting to recede we were able to really reverse that and bring her gums back to avoid surgery so really great people sharing what they've experienced here at dream body clinic so stay tuned learn more i'm josh happy to help dbc diaries day one so today Brooke and Carol came in, coming back. Our drivers pick them up at the airport, get them to their hotel so they can rest and relax. Hi, I'm Kevin. This week, I will be driving Carol and Brooke to all their medical appointments. DBC Diaries, day two. Today, they come in fasted so that we can start with blood work. Both Brooke and Carol are doing treatments, so we always start with blood work there. And then after, Brooke had a few MRIs. This returning trip, we were doing in shoulder, both of his hips. Each joint takes about 45 minutes. It's in our open MRI, which really reduces claustrophobia issues there with MRIs. And when that's all done, we get them back to their hotel so they can enjoy the day. As a protocol, every time that patients come to the clinic, their viral signs will be taken to make sure that everything will be okay. Well, today we have a Brooke. He's a returning patient. And at this time he came with some pain on the shoulder and also on the hip. So I'm going to show to him like the MRIs and well, let's see the process. So Brooke and Carol came back in. It's time to go over their blood work and to go over the MRIs for Brooke. We're gonna compare from his last treatments to today so we can see the improvements there. Looks like things got way better and then also to see where the damage is on the joints that we didn't treat last time so that we can make sure they're a good fit for this treatment. Once that was done, we took them upstairs with our admin team. They went over, took care of payment, everything, and that's when we get the cells, start working at getting those out of cultivation that evening for treatment the next day. DBC Diaries day four. Today is treatment day. Brooke and Carol know what to expect. So they come on in, doctor meets with them real quick. And then we took Brooke to take some blood for PRP. We spin up the patient's own blood, take out the platelet rich plasma at the top, and then use that to mix with the stem cells. A couple of quick, easy injections, the hips and the shoulder. These are very easy treatments to do. Very little pain, very little downtime after very simple treatments. And then with the IV for Carol, it's easy. You put the line in, you kind of hang out there 
for anywhere from an hour, hour and a half while the cells drip. And then we put in an IV of vitamins since we already have you connected to the line. We add some vitamins at the end, some NAD plus, some uh, vitamin C. We put in some CoQ10, a whole mix of different things. We look at the stem cells as a manager on a construction site. These extra vitamins, they're like the or bricks to build the house. That way we've got everything there so that we can help heal the patient even faster. And now stay tuned, you're gonna watch their testimonial, how things went for them last time, how they're doing now, and go from there. All right, welcome to DBC Diaries, episode 42. I'm Josh, I'm here with returning patients, Brooke and Carol, welcome back. Thank you. So uh, you've been here before, you've done a bunch of different treatments, like uh, when were you here last and what have you done? I believe it was late, what was it? It's almost a year, actually. It was April 4th last year we came. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 I had my elbow done. That's where it started. That was the, uh, my major concern. Yeah. yeah. Riding the old dirt bikes and whatnot. <laughs> it gave it to me. And, uh, yeah, I've done that. Yeah. We, uh, yes, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we started out, uh, we actually, uh, heard of another gentleman that uh, hurt his back, um, riding dirt bikes as well. And we heard about stem cells. And it really did a, a world of good for him. And uh, my my elbow personally w hurt for two years. Yeah. And it just would not heal. So we had to find something. And uh, we found you and uh, came down and tried it. And it's, uh, honestly, the pain went away after about three weeks. No way. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. He, he wouldn't even pick up a glass of water. Yeah. yeah it, it hurt just to do this for, for a while. It's your main time. point of power for your arm. Yeah. Like I, yeah. I freaked out when I did mine because like, I can't be the stem cell guy getting <laughs> surgery. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Luckily mine took longer to heal, but uh, that's great. Three yeah. eighths is quick, especially. It, yeah. I'm not sure it was healed, but this, it started, the pain started going. I, 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 okay. I left it alone for a little while. So yeah. yeah. That's good. Yeah. And it's feeling good now? Yeah. It actually, yeah, it's been A1. <laughs> like, that's that's the yeah, yeah, I'm I'm thrilled. I kept thinking, I've been riding quite a bit since. Okay. And uh, yeah, just, it's been hanging in there good. Yeah. So. We love riders because they always come back. <laughs> yeah, repeat customers, right? Yeah, yeah. better put you on retainer. <laughs> yeah. And then you had the IV done and the change. Yeah, actually, uh, what's that? Sorry? The change in your lungs. Oh, was. yes, that as well. Um, after taking the time off, um, for this and whatnot it's been it was quite a while uh we always uh time ourselves we know how long we can kind of ride before we kind of hit the wall that oh, we gotta yeah. get off well after that much time off i and i you know i wasn't even here for that treatment but i came it went out again and thinking i was going to be exhausted yeah and rode for like 10 minutes and i wasn't even tired <laughs> so uh, yeah. obviously i had some issue with my lungs i didn't even realize well in cardiovascular health i mean your heart and your lungs i mean that's mm. the first places the stem cells go mm. and you just it helps a lot also with muscle endurance i mean there's a lot of factors to it for i'd say sports performance that people kind of miss out on because yeah. usually it's hey i'm fixing an elbow or something and people forget well the iv is going to go to your heart, that's mm. going to help. It's going to go to your lungs. 70% of them go there and get stuck for two to three hours. So a lot mm. dissipate in. And I mean, everybody's got some sort of like, you know, lung damage over time. I mean, there's so much stuff for breathing in all that. Mm. So clears out scar tissue. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good to hear. And yeah, I was then, shocked. And then Carol, you did, what was it? Your gums, right? I did a hundred million IV in my gums. Um, the biggest thing was back home, they, I have hereditary receding gums and they recommended a skin graft Oof. Um, and said it wasn't guaranteed and you know it still was going to cost. And I was looking for an alternative that was not six months recovery and not as painful. So Brooke was like, take a look at these stem cells. So we did that and the gums have grown back beautifully. There's no more recession there's no more bleeding gums really? nothing so oh wow, that's so awesome was, yeah it was the alternative would be horrific yeah yeah i know it's, it's pretty the, brutal like oh. they go the roof of the mouth right yeah. and move it and, yeah. and, yeah. and i just think like you burn your mouth with like pizza you know how much mm -hmm. that hurts and yeah. then you end up with that and then there was no guarantee so it was kind of like why do i want to torture myself your dinner uh, would be through a straw for months probably oh i'm so glad that that worked out well for mm -hmm. you there we've we've done a lot of gums and it yeah. become it's just become more and more popular yeah, yeah. It it's a very common issue yeah. another great thing um i had my thyroid uh 
shot last yeah. time. I was on medication and we just checked our blood work. And um <laughs> yeah, that's so, awesome. Yeah. Good, Off good. meds and uh yeah. Excellent. Very happy with that. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Well, great. I mean, that's so many different things. I yeah. am so thrilled for you guys. Yeah. And I guess we're going to fix uh, what your hips today or tomorrow. Yeah. My, my uh, I didn't even realize I had a problem, but uh, at home we, uh, I went from, I had a little stomach issue. We did an MRI and they, they told me I had uh, hip de degeneration a little bit uh, in that side. So, well, I, I think it's both. But anyways, bottom line is uh, we just thought we'd just nip it in the butt, get down here before it Come graduate into like right? a surgery. So, yeah, who'd have thought a dirt bike rider would get hit problems, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, Brooke, you were saying that you and your friends have a group, right? Is that your Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we actually, <laughs> we, uh, our friends that uh, came down and had actually told me about stem cells originally, J his name's Jason. Um, we actually just started a, uh, just a little chat um, online so we could all talk and whatnot. And uh, ironically, we call it the... Uh, the fountain of youth. <laughs> so we try to share as much information as we can with the uh, stem cells and whatnot and what they're doing for everybody. And uh, yeah, that's super so, cool. And yeah. He said he's doing really well. So we'll uh, hopefully get him back down here later yes, and yes. Can share what's going on with him. But he's had some amazing results. Uh, you're saying his ankles are doing real good, right? Yes. Yes. That's I'm awesome. Sure. Yeah. He's going to want to tell you all about that. That's cool. The, yeah. Perfect. Uh, anything else? Are we good? Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I don't know. Well, cool. Well, guys, thanks so much for coming. Thanks yeah. for, you know, sharing this with people at home. We hope this will help you see real people doing treatments, getting results. Um, if you'd like to learn more, get a hold of us. You can go to the website at www.dreambody.clinic. Scroll down. All the treatments are listed. Click on them. They got info, prices, links to studies, everything's there. And if you wanna call us, you can call for a free consultation at 888-704-3977. I'm Josh, happy to help. DBC Diaries Day 5. Well, today they're taking off. They're going to go back home to Canada and our drivers get them to the airport. We wanna just thank them for sharing with everyone out there. We know this always helps people to understand what we do, how well stem cells can help for all these different issues. If you've got questions, please check out our website. It's www.dreambody.clinic. Scroll down on the homepage, check out the treatments. They're all there, you click. They've got info, they've got prices, links to studies, videos like this of showing past patients and their success. And if you want a free consultation, please call us anytime, toll free at 888-704-3977. I'm Josh, happy to help. Thank you.